Andre Ward returns November 16th on Showbox. Uh, you need to fight more, Ward. I say it pretty much every time I mention you, because it's true. You need to fight more often. You're an Olympic gold medalist. That doesn't mean you're already Roy Jones or anything by any means. I think Andre Durrell is better than you. I think he would beat you. You need to fight more and try to prove me wrong. Because you need to prove me wrong. And anyhow, also Miranda, Edison Miranda returning October 30th. Special edition of Broadway Boxing. Um, his opponent's been named. I don't remember his opponent's name. It doesn't matter. He's getting knocked out. Anyhow, uh, Edison Miranda returning also on the undercard of that. We'll have the two of the three Cuban uh, superstars. Uh, Jan Bartholomew and... What's his name, Gamboa, on the undercard, so looking forward to seeing them finally. That's going to be Broadway Boxing. Be sure to check your MSG channel, your, you know, your, all those channels where they show Broadway Boxing, Comcast channels and such. Be on the lookout for that. October 30th, that means it'll probably be the following Sunday or the Sunday after that, so November 4th or so. Or 11th. Anyhow, also October 20th, John Duddy returns in another Irish fight in Dublin. Hopefully, this will be his last for a while, or at least if they'd show it, have every fight in Ireland. I don't care. But they're not showing them while he's over there. They're not showing them in the U.S., stateside, domestically, whatever. Show him here. Come on back, Duddy. He will probably fight another. MSG or Atlantic City fight after this one, hopefully. Maybe in a big fight. This, um, you know, he's, he's getting pretty close to being ready for a title contention, maybe against Arthur Abraham, someone like that. Anyhow, um, Corey Spinks versus Verno Phillips has been signed for Spinks's 154-pound IVF title. Um, Bloody hell, I didn't... There's no date for that because that's... It hasn't been signed. It's been, um... The IBF has made this... That, um... Speaks as mandatory challenger. So they're still going to get a date on that. And hopefully they're wanting them to go ahead and do that. If not, it'll go to purse bids and we'll, we'll get a date. And that should be a... Good win for Corey Spinks. I don't think Verno Phelps stands a chance in that fight. Good unanimous decision win for Corey Spinks. Very easy fight for him. And Al Winky Wright said he's willing to move all the way down to welterweight to make a fight with Oscar De La Hoya. Winky Wright said he's going to move down to welterweight, or is willing to move to welterweight, a weight class he's never fought at to fight Oscar De La Hoya. De La Hoya wants no part of that. He's not even really considering that. That's entirely too much weight for you to go down, Winky. Please, don't do that. 154, 150 even, okay, but welter, no. You don't need to go down that far. I don't like that at all. You don't need to do that. Your last fight was at 170. Don't. You don't need to do that. He's coming back down to 160 or whatever. He's, you know, but he doesn't need that. Anyhow, he's anyhow. Um, also, Alan Green returning off TV October 19th. Apparently, it's off TV. I haven't seen anywhere to be shown yet. Hopefully, they show it somewhere. But October 19th, we need something for that week. Anyhow, it would be very nice if they'd put that on Tele Futura. Tele Futura, please, show that. Someone, someone send a link if you possibly have, but I doubt they'll show that anywhere. Anyhow, also, um, Julio Cesar Chavez Jr. Uh, versus Ray Sanchez. Um, that's going to be a top-ranked pay-per-view, and Jorge Arce on the undercard of that. Possibly Ivan Calderon and welterweight prospect Mike Alvarado, who I've mentioned on the show before. Looks pretty good, but welterweight, he, 
He needs to move up or down, big time. He's not going to be the, any of the top ten, probably, but not at this stage. He's still a prospect, so. Yeah, but that should be an interesting pay-per-view. Not happy it's pay-per-view, and it's December 1st. But, um, glad to have Chavez Jr. and RC fighting, so, and Calderon, so, we'll look forward to that. And also, if Chavez Jr. and RC win, it could set up a March, a March 2008 Boxing After Dark card for them, with both of them on. Uh, it would be, and also, Alfonso Gomez would need to win his match. If that happens, it would be very likely for Alfonso Gomez to get Chavez Jr., the, the fight that should be this fight, truthfully. It should be Gomez versus Chavez Jr. on this pay-per-view coming up. And that, but anyhow, March 2008, that's very likely that that'll happen if um, Alfonso Gomez gets past Ben Tacky October 16th on the Contender Special. Which, I think he will. I have no doubt he'll get past Ben Tacky at this point. I mean, Ben Tacky's usually a 140-pound fighter or below anyhow, so 147? No, nah, he's not going to beat Gomez. Gomez is better. And so hopefully we got that. And also, they're talking about our savers, Martin Castillo, for that Boxing After Dark card march also. That would be a very, very good Boxing After Dark card. That should probably warrant a championship boxing, actually. But Boxing After Bar Dark's good, too, as long as they show it. Who cares? Um, going back to Sergio Mora, I forgot to mention Mora's opponent now. Um, Taylor, Uma, no. Elvin Ayala, who lost to David Banks twice. David Banks. Twice. That's who Sergio Mora is going to fight next. Yeah. Um, that's going to be that's going to be on the undercard, sort of, of the October 16th thing. Now listen to this. Be sure you catch this. The Mora vs. David Banks, or <laughs> Mora vs. Elvin Ayala fight will be on ESPN Classic. October 16th at like 9 p.m. Then to see Alfonso Gomez first Ben Tacky October 16th, you gotta change channels to ESPN, I think, at 10 o'clock to see that fight. So even though they'll both be in the same venue, I'm pretty sure. Don't know why they're doing it that way. It's very stupid. Just they got ESPN Classic, they got ESPN, they got ESPN 2. Put it on one of those channels, it doesn't matter which. I mean, what are they going to bump on ESPN 2? Darts? I mean, oh, big loss. Put that crap on ESPN. Uh, don't put that crap on TV. But anyhow, yeah.